What is up you guys? Anchor Cole here, back at it with another YouTube video and today we're going to be playing some ranked. I haven't played ranked in like two months and there's no really no reason for me. It's just maybe because the game's just gotten boring. I've been feeling like playing other games. I've been playing a lot of Halo lately, which I haven't really played like Halo 5 or anything, but I really do enjoy those games. I'm playing like a lot of MCC and stuff. But for Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 like ranked instead of just like you know record some clips for like the ultimate comparisons i haven't played any at all so this is going to be pretty interesting i got my male earthling here Gurin, and you know i'm going to uh, show you guys what i'm using i decided to like kind of instead of just playing ranked with my regular old builds and stuff i decided to switch things up um if you guys can see what i'm wearing i'm only wearing like earthling clothes um, i got yamcha's gi and goku's gi kind of mixed up kind of makes a nice little outfit um i didn't want to wear yamcha's full off because that that outfit sucks i got my old kiki bang and then my z soul this Z Soul is OP. You guys will see in like the second fight of this video, this Z Soul came super clutch. I almost died and luckily I had it on and it it's OP. Basically what it does, it nullifies any command meha damage. And you guys will see in the second fight, it's unbelievable. Like I think he used um final command meha on me too, and I took zero damage. For my skills that I'm using, I'm using Tri-Beam, Wolf Fang Fist, um, Tri Beam and Wolf Fang Fist. Um, Wolf Fang Fist is Yamcha's move, and Tri Beam is Tien's move. I got on Solar Flare, which is basically Tien's and Krillin's move. They both used it. I don't really know whose move it exactly is. I got Orange Combo, which is Krillin's move. Pretty good move. And then the most OP move in my arsenal is the Savior has come. Very OP. And then for my second ultimate, I'm using Chain Destruction Dis Barrage. Now I could have used Justice Combination or Spirit Ball or Full Power Energy Wave or Neo Tri Beam, but Neo Tri Beam is asking for too much strain on my stamina. Spirit Ball, I don't really like the move. It has a cool animation, but I didn't want to use that because I already had Wolf Fang Fist. And um, Justice Combination is pure cancer. I hate that move. I, I will not use Justice Combination. That move is OP, and I just don't like the move at all. Um, for my Awakening, I'm using Power Pull Combo. I could have used Potential Unleashed, but I feel like Power Pull Combo was a better choice. Now, I, to be honest, I don't use this transformation in the video. I have never used this transformation before, like ever since Xenoverse 2 came out. The transformation to me is just kind of lame, and I just didn't feel like using it. And for my evasive, I have Super Front Jump. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be, sh be sure to give it a thumbs up, and also comment down below. Let me know if you want to see more, just overall feedback. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe for more Dragon Ball content, and you know, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, this is the first fight of the video. It's been a minute since I've done that. Usually for my old ring videos, so it seems that like I always kind of like started off commentating for my fights. So here's the first fight right here. I just got comments look out because, you know, I wanted to use like Earthling only maps. And this guy, I think he was trying to use that one key move to add it for like DLC pack 4. And if you guys can see right here, he's using time skip moves. Reminds me of myself back in the day. Back in the day, um, I really like time skip moves, especially time skip. I think backbreaker was my favorite move ever. Um, so yeah, this guy's got a little time skip build going on. But as I was saying before, he's using a uh, Divinity Unleash. As you guys can see right there, I completely whiff Wolf Fang Fist. That just tells you how like newbie I am. Now I'm, I wouldn't say I'm that bad at the game, but I'm definitely nowhere close to like how good I was before. Um, I'm not really that good at perfect blocking. Um, I'm just I'm not really good at like mixing things up together. As you guys can see right there, I got a pretty nice orange combo. And then I waited for him to stand back up and hit him in the face with a solar flare. He was blind, but then he does um, after image or whatever out of it. Now. This guy is kind of wanting me to um, after him, so that we can catch him with the backbreaker. But see, if you don't play predictable, that's when time skip moves can be trash. And he tried to use the, um, I think, flash strike, which puts the time skip in front of you. But I just dodged out of the way. I break the stamina and then follow up with this move right here. This freaking savior has come. It's kind of a troll move. I kind of feel bad for using it, but it's better than using like justice combination or a move that does damage, right? All, it doesn't really do anything in one v ones. Um, right there, I swear I jumped out of his uh time skip but you know whatever he got me in it i guess it's just how time skip is um we clashed right here which i really don't miss for xenoverse because xenoverse you just clash 24 7 um this guy's using his stamina like crazy i got a i got a pretty good lead on him i'm just kind of messing around and um we're perfect blocking each other left and right um he knocks i think he tried to go for like a knockback combo and he did time skip backbreaker a little too late he would have caught me in it but it was just too late a perfect block him right here he has no stamina to after image you know with another heavy standard break and then i follow up with a d chain destructor just barrage and yeah that's game so gg on to the second match of the video
Alright guys, this is the second match of the video, and this is the match that I really wanted to show you guys. I could have put this match first, but I don't know. The first match was my actual first match, so I wanted to kind of keep things real. Um, this guy's creative character is pretty cool. Um, he, if you guys don't remember from Xenoverse 1 when I was coming out and there were a whole bunch of trailers, um, this was like the creative character that they kind of used for it. Like, I don't, I don't know if you guys know, but in like Xenoverse 2, the creative character they used for like the males is like, um... He has like the spiky hair and like a, I think a vest on and some jeans and then it's like some boots. Well, this is what the creative character was in like Xenoverse 1 when they were showing off the creative character and stuff. Everybody thought it was going to be like Super Saiyan God and whatnot. And it turns out it wasn't. The only thing you go like in Xenoverse 1 was like Super Saiyan 2. And everybody's disappointed, but back of the matter of hand. Um, this guy at first, he was kind of catching me. I didn't, like, like I said, bro, I wasn't, I'm not used to how male Saiyans fight. And I really do not like male Saiyans. Not, not that if you play as a race, I don't like, you know, you. It's just, I'm, I don't like male Saiyans. I don't like playing as them. I have nothing, like, against the race. It's just, I like male Earth and combo better. Um, so, yeah, I break his stamina, and then you save his come, and then I slap him in the face with a tri-beam. Um, I like the way tri-beam looks whenever you use it on the ground. He does like how Tien used on Nappa. He uses his one hand, which is pretty sick. Um... He catches me off guard with a future Super Saiyan, and I think he tried to use some um, explosive wave. Um, I think uh, he was trying to charge it up and do like the little ter like the teleport cheese. Whenever you turn Super Saiyan and you charge like a key blast move, it'll teleport to your opponent. But he didn't time it right. Um, he catches me with no stamina, and I get of course the stamina break. And look at this final Kamehameha. No damage. That Z soul though. It saved my life. It ruined his whole combo, and. Of course, whenever I stand back up, he catches me with a Savage Strike. That move always looks sick. And I think he just kind of gave up right here. So I was kind of just hitting with a Wolf Ink Fist. But then he started playing again. So I was like, oh. I don't know I don't know what he thought. Maybe he thought the game was lagging. I don't know. But that Z-Soul was clutch. I, I probably got to start using that more. Um, yeah, so I knock him away and then kick him. And that is the game. GG. On to the final match of the video. Alright, guys. This is the third match of the video. And I don't know why, but this video, I got a lot of, like... Um, unique creative characters. Um, maybe you probably can say Pro Trooper is unique, but to me it's pretty unique. It's a pretty cool build. Um, basically, if you guys don't know what a Pro Trooper is, if you guys are watching Dragon Ball Super right now, they're basically like the Universe 10, like a uh, Universe 10's team in the uh, Universal Survival Arc, whatever tournament thing. And yeah, um, he looks pretty cool. And um, one thing that I noticed, my games are Japanese right now because I just did the Dragon Ball Fighters like open comparison, and he sounds just like Topo. It may be just me, but to me he sounds just like Topo. Um, so that that's pretty cool. And he kind of, well, never mind. I will say he kind of looks like Topo with the orange hair, but he just doesn't have like Topo's build. You know, like the big old arms and big body and kind of like Dr. Eggman or whatever. Um, so yeah, if you guys didn't know, right, see right there, I just was trying to use a, the Savior's come, but um, he broke my stamina, which is pretty disrespectful. I'm like, come on now, I'm using like Hercules move. That's like God tier. Um, I get him with a really nice Wolf Fang Fist right here. The Wolf Fang Fist is a pretty good move. I never really used it back in the day. I kind of used to use like Meteor Crash and stuff, but Wolf Fang Fist is a pretty underrated move. Um, kind of lowers guy's guard right here. That's why I kept on attacking him, even though what he's guarding, because you know it reduces stamina while you attack him. Especially if you do Y hits. Um, I don't know if you guys could hear like the grunts and stuff. He tried to catch me with a fake blast, but and also if you guys didn't know what he was using, he was trying to use like sledgehammer and cross arm dive, you know, those cheats combos. I think um I had just perfect blocked him right here and my combo just went out the window just in whiffs. But this match is about over. I think I catch him with a grab and that's GG. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next. I think the next one, if I feel like playing ranked, um, the next one will probably be a, a Freezer Race build. Not, not a build, but like, you know, try to use only like Freezer moves, like, you know, Death Ball and all that other stuff. But, you know, who knows? Um, so, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next Dragon Ball video. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Peace. You are awesome. I can't wait to see what you'll do next time. Later. 